Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. For today's video, it's going to be a swatch party of all the lipsticks from the new local brand Caillou Beauty. So they have six Caillou Kiss lipsticks with me today. They sent everything to me, and yon is a swatch natin sa lahat. I'm also gonna give you guys some comparisons and a wear test as well. And of course, hindi mawawala yung initial thoughts ko dito guys. So ayan, we have a lot of things to talk about. Sa channel ko, you will always find me reviewing skincare and makeup. But I also like to promote mindful consumerism dito sa aking channel. I am currently on a no buy. It's just my way of control my spending, reset everything para I view makeup and skincare in a healthier way, set my priorities straight, appreciate the stuff that I already have sa aking collection instead of always looking for new things to buy. So if you guys are interested in these types of content or you're going through a similar thing as I am, I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as click on that notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Okay, so first things first, product details will be listed down below, timestamps, etc. etc. You know it, I always put a lot of details in my description box, so check it out na lang. This is a new local brand. I'm pretty sure that you guys have heard about it, maybe in TikTok, probably, most probably in TikTok. But I heard about this when Ayin Bernos sent me a message on Instagram asking me to if they can send me their new baby and ito siya. <laughs> like, syempre, I'm very honored and thank you guys for sending this to me. There are five collaborators dito sa ating brand na to and it's Ayin Bernos, as I mentioned. I'm pretty sure that you guys know about her. And this lady doesn't need any more introduction, but she collaborated with her friends. Rika Salomon, so she's a makeup artist. Kai Javier, which is also a personality in TikTok. She is the creative director behind the brand. She also does beauty content on TikTok. And also si J.R. Rodriguez. And also si Landam Vivas. I hope that I'm pronouncing his name right. This brand, Kayu, is derived from Kayu Mangge. So ayan, I was talking Talking to the person behind Kayu Beauty, which is Rika, one of the founders, she mentioned that it started now with her and Ayin Bernos because she wanted to create her own brand and Ayin wanted to expand her uh, advocacy. In order for this brand to come to fruition, they needed more people. So, ito na yung PR package nila, guys. It comes with a box like this and parang may parchment paper cover siya dito sa harap. They also have a sticker included in the PR box. Ayan, sobrang cute ng stickers niya. And I'm so happy to find out from Jesse that this is actually waterproof. Tong paper na to that they printed kasi pasmado ako, guys. We'll find this info card here and then the six lipsticks. So, ayan, ito yung nakasulat dito sa akin lang info card. It is inspired by us. You meaning us. So, from the range of skin tones, yung weather daw natin. It's basically made for us Filipinos. And then, there's more info about the product and also yung six shades nila dito as well. Before we talk about the lipsticks, let's talk more about the packaging and the PR box itself. A very minimalist stick yung kanilang packaging and it highly emphasized yung gradient. So like you can see it going from dark and to something that is light. Diversity, I think that is what it's trying to symbolize. Like diversity in skin tone. Yun yung pinaka obvious but then I guess diversity of different people is what I'm assuming. Yung design or font nung kanilang brand is very different from the PR packaging itself because Kai Javier was not a part of the team when this was being created. So, ayon. Kaya iba yung itsura niya. But I will link yung TikTok ni Kai Javier to know more about the brand, yung symbol, how she designed it, yung concept behind it. More about the brand, like the visual concept behind the brand. Here, you will see the shade name, the details of the product, yung ingredients niya. Cruelty free, not tested on animals, it's PAO, batch code manufacturing, and yung grammage niya, which is 3.8 grams per product. Sobrang ganda ng aesthetic niya, and yung may kita mo yung gradient niya, it's different for each lipstick. Always from a different color up to something that's more of like a parang mustard color. And now for the packaging ng lipstick, yung overall case niya is made 
from a frosted clear acrylic and you will also be able to see the name of the brand product name and also yung grammage niya open it up it the lipstick is there it's just your regular bullet lipstick there is no like special custom made uh, shape or imprint or embossment uh, with nothing wrong with the packaging naman personally kasi syempre they, they are just starting out now. i think naman it's very sturdy the lid doesn't come off very easily like alam mo yung kinakatakutan ko kasi when it comes to bullet lipsticks is yung matatanggal yung cap inside the bag that is something that i don't like kasi pag natanggal yung cap nasisira yung bullet lipstick sa loob there are six shades available here. I'm just gonna read off the list. So left on red, Everyday Red. We have Love You A Latte, which is a warm brown. Papa Don't Peach, Sunset Peach. Send Nudes, which is your MLBB nude. Play With Me, Soft Terracotta. Watch a Pink, which is a classic pink shade. And from their info card that they sent me, it says here, designed to own a permanent real estate in your everyday bags, everyday and permanent real estate. They release some shades that they think is something that we would use often and they also mention wearables that usually is something that is nude nothing too loud nothing too bright designed to fit every skin tone every mood and every whim so ayun. i like that they have a pink in here <laughs> yun lang um i really am a fan of pink so that is something that i am actually looking forward to and also send nudes i love my nudes kahit na i'm craving for very unusual color sometimes for my lips i always reach for my nudes that's it i think that's everything that i want oh the price in this video is released i'm pretty sure that it's already available it's 349 pesos each for 3.8 grams of product and the PR box would retail for 1,799 pesos with the sticker na included there. So ayun, the package, the PR package is really really cute ha. I should say it's very nice, very sleek and I like that you can take it apart and you can use the box. Ayan o, no? natatanggal yung insert and you can use it like that. <laughs> So yeah, now let's move on to swatching the lipsticks. Okay, swatch time and I'm gonna start first with whatever is labeled here. So starting with Left You on Red. Reading through the names ha, sobrang nakikitan ako dun sa names because it's very punny. It just gives the shades a bit of personality if I should say. Kanina I was wearing a lip balm on top of my lips. Now I wiped it off. I'm ready to swatch now and I'm super duper excited because I haven't really tried swatch them or anything. It smells sweet. It smells sweet. I couldn't determine kung ano pa yung amoy of that gourmand scent. In fairness ha, this lipstick glided on very nicely. As you can see, parang hindi siya nagtag sa aking lips. And the color payoff is really really good. As in one swipe, I didn't see na leftover stains no tint sa akin from last night. I would agree na it's a shade that I think I could wear every day. You guys know me, I don't really like reds as much. It's not a shade that I am comfortable in wearing. Kung baga yung confidence level ko is not enough to wear reds every day. Alam mo yung may konting orange tones siya. So it's a very warm shade. It's not something that's super bright. It's not a red that demands a lot of attention. It's a good in-between na you wanna stand out but at the same time be more on, uh, you know, not too loud as well. Parang ganon. That's how I feel about this red. And I really like it for my makeup look. I, I think that this is a red that a lot of people would appreciate. Mmm. This one is also so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this is what they call a warm brown shade. Later on, ko na lang i-mention sa inyo guys yung thoughts ko about the formula and pigmentation and all of that. I'm going to comment more on the colors this time, like for each color. So love you a latte. This one is a warm brown is what they would describe. And yes, definitely is a warm brown. For me, it does show na brown siya. It does look nude, pero you know, hindi siya yung skin tone nude ko. But I think that this is very flattering, especially like ito na siguro yung nude ng mga people who have deeper skin tones. I'm not sure if I like this more than Left You on Red, pero maganda to. I like this also. Uh, 
Okay, for some reason, this one feels a lot softer. Parang mas buttery siya for me. Ewan ko, parang ang bilis lang na nag-glide sa aking lips. Parang it has the least amount of resistance. Di naman siya yung mukhang unflattering na orange na very loud, na very neon, very bright. This one is warm but... I hindi ko explain yung shade. Eh. I wouldn't really call this a nude na masyado. I think that if you want to be more adventurous sa inyong lipsticks but you're too scared of reds, try oranges. Maybe that is something that you could wear out if you want to spice things up a bit. Okay, this one is Send Nudes. Oh, I love this shade. Oh, um you guys know Nudes talaga is my weakness. I'm always biased towards my nudes, okay? This shade is really, really pretty in just one swipe. Let's see if I can build this up. Parang I liked it more when it was just, you know, one swipe. Kasi, as you can see, na build up naman yung kanyang shade. It's more peachy na this time. Like, it ha it's a peachy nude, if I should say. Hindi siya yung parang beigey skin tone kind of color. Like, you would see na. Mas peach to. This one applied really nicely as well. Para siyang si Papa Don't Peach, like yung slip na sinasabi ko. Madulas siya. Um, I'm not so sure. Parang medyo similar kasi to with Send Nudes to me. I don't know. Let me try dun sa arm swatch to see kung may difference sila. But very close. Isa peach, pero ito more orangey. And na may konting brown. The color is nice naman. I think that this is a shade that a lot of people like as well. I'm not sure though if people would get this shade pa kasi it's something that has been seen before from other brands if I should say. But you know, they have to release a shade that a lot of people like. No? Wow, okay, I love, I love this shade. I really, really love this shade. It's a warm pink. It's a warm pink, guys. Hindi siya yung may pagka-blue undertone na mukhang mawawash out yung skin tone mo. It's very, very flattering on me. And the formula of this one is also at par with Papa Don't Teach and Play With Me. So I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy that they released a pink shade. I should say very different from everything that they released so far. Alam mo yung pink na hindi siya yung MLBB pink? Talagang mas pink siya than brown. Ang ganda. Oh, I love this shade. This is my favorite. Okay, ito na yung pinak favorite for the comparisons guys let's start first with left you on red i got all the red shades that i could find sa aking lipstick collection it's not a lot but i realized something left you on red talaga out of everything that i shared with you guys is the most air quotes wearable it has a very prominent parang orangey pink sort of undertone. Nagmumukha siyang hindi red, pero on my lips, it looks red. I think na magandang choice ito sa kanilang selection. It just really shows how special this red is. Dahil dito, guys, mas na-appreciate ko na si Left You On Red. So for Love You A Lotte, as much as I like this shade, I find that it's not very unique sa aking collection. Yung lip spells ng Teviant, in the shade Elizabeth. Yun yung pinaka-close niya na match. However, Elizabeth is more pink. And then for the other shades in comparison, I think na same sila ng undertone. Pero ang nag-iba is yung lightness and darkness nila. Like the depth of color. Cookie Dough is the darkest shade. And the next is Agi Matte from Vice Cosmetics Flexi Matte. And then itong si Love You A Latte. And then yung pinaka-light is yung Bella. Sad na hindi siya ganun ka-unique sa aking collection because I really wanna keep it. But I might just end up decluttering na lang si Tevian lip spell in the shade Elizabeth kasi it's kind of old na rin. For Papa Don't Peach, I think yung closest match niya is Winter Melon from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics Milky Tints. Also, Dear Self Beauty in the shade Opal. But Opal has a tendency kasi to become a little darker once it dries down. So I think si Winter Melon yung best mo na match kasi you can play with the opacity. If you want something that's lighter, you can do that. Yeah, I think those two are your best match. However, I think that si Papa Don't Peach kasi has more peachy undertones while si Winter Melon and si Opal has more brown in it. Okay, for sell nudes, medyo nahirapan ako but konting mix-mix lang talaga ang kailangan mo. So for said nudes kasi, it's a very light peachy nude na shade. Pero naman ako nahanap na exact match na 
lip product sa aking collection and that is Babe from Essie and Co. Yung kanilang lip mousse. So, yan talaga yung exact shade niya. The others kasi dun sa aking collection, they're either too pink or they're leaning on that pinky brown sort of realm. Minsan, they're too peachy, they're too dark, ganon. If you compare it to cheesecake, mas mukha siyang pink talaga, no? But when I added winter melon to cheesecake, ayan, nakuha ko na finally yung color ng scent dudes. So, if you have cheesecake and winter melon and matyaga kang mag-mix, then maybe you don't really need to get Kayu Beauty's Kayu Kiss in the shade Sendoons. Clay With Me is very unique sa aking collection. I don't really have a lot of terracotta lippies. It's really not a shade that I usually go for kasi. So, ito yung comparison sa mabibigay ko sa inyo. Dalawa lang. The first one is from Plush Flame. They're all around flush. The shade Basque. And also yung Coco My Day Lip Stack from Choo Choo Beauty. The first shade that they have there, yung Soft Coco. When comparing Basque with Clay With Me, um, you would notice that Basque has a more prominent or more strong yellow mustardy color as compared to kay Clay With Me. Clay With Me is more brown kasi. And then for Soft Cocoa, this one is more light and more beige, more neutral brown siya. It lacks that yellow tone that Clay With Me has. Last but not the least, here are the comparisons for Watcha Pink. As I mentioned kanina when I was watching, Watcha Pink I thought was a warm pink, but apparently it's more on the berry side pala. It really is a berry undertone. Hindi siya super duper cool, not like Lady Luck from Strokes Beauty Labs Click Sticks. It's more close to Teresa, which is one of my favorite shades. And then I think yung pinaka-close comparison niya is actually Maddie from Color Red. I I also tried to compare this with Hello Bloom Beauty's matte lip paints in the shade Very Berry. And as you can see, Very Berry talaga is more deeper in tone. I tried to compare it with BLK's Airy Matte Tints in the shade Days. As you can see, mas muted si Watcha Pink. It doesn't have that fuchsia or magenta quality that Days has. So, ayan. Unfortunately, it's not, again, unique sa aking collection kasi it's so close to Teresa talaga and Maddie's. Hey guys, it's time for a wear test. So, I am currently wearing Left Yon Red on my lips. I just wore it and ito, nag-kiss mark ako kanina after I wore it and ganyan yung kanyang transfer when it's wet. Right now, it's in the process of drying down. So, let's see na lang how this works throughout the day. Uh, sayang, I just had breakfast so hindi ko siya na try agad. But later on naman, maglalunch ako and then I'm also gonna go out wearing a mask. So, let's see how this transfers. That is it. Those are the swatches. Those are the comparisons and the wear test. I hope that you enjoyed those parts. Time to give you guys my first impressions. Why don't we start first with the packaging. The component itself, the logo of Kayu Beauty is very different here than from what is in the PR box. So I'm assuming that once the stocks of this is sold out, they're going to revise this. I hope that when they are planning to revise this, they take into consideration as well the readability of the label dito sa likod. Because just that yung color no label, nahirapan ako basahin siya. Like, kailangan pong ganunin and then maliit pa yung mga text niya. This is really nitpicking, pero if they can improve it, then why not? Packaging itself, like yung classic naman, it's very hardy. I like na it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like matatanggal yung cap niya. Well, I haven't really put this in my bag yet, but I'll update you guys along. And then uh, for the formula of the product, I really like how this slide on the lips. It's very smooth. Very minimal ang kanyang tugging. May pagka-konting velvety, moisturizing sort of feeling siya sa inyong lips. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. It's very lightweight. And hindi siya yung parang may feeling mo may mask ka dito sa inyong lips. Wala. 
wala akong na feel na ganun. And then hindi siya masyadong na transfer agad. But even though that it's still on, in the process of drying down, I wouldn't say na they're very soft. Like yung tipong madudurog na talaga siya agad. But there is a tendency for you to, you know, damage the bullet. My lips are kind of dry. And even after swatching these repeatedly, hindi ko na feel na sobrang dry na lips ko. I don't feel the need to put lip balm on top of this uh, lipstick even after it has dried down already. One thing to note of though, like out of the six shades, there are three shades here that seem to be more buttery, more softer, and easier yung kanyang application sa inyong lips. And that is Papa Don't Peach, Clay With Me, and also Watch Me Pink. With in terms of the pigmentation naman ng kanilang lipsticks, it's not fully opaque. Let me just say that. It's not fully opaque. You can definitely build the color if you want something that is more vibrant, more opaque, more pigmented. Pwede, pwede naman yun. Which I think is a good balance kasi not a lot of people like to wear pigmented lipsticks. And it's much easier as well to build the pigmentation up than try to, you know, blur it out or try to reduce the pigmentation. Uh, now with the shade range though, there are three nudes done and there are three pops of colors. Yung pops of colors small being Watch Me Pink, Left You on Red, and yung si Papa Don't Peach. And then si Play With Me, Love You A Latte, and Send Dudes. Those are like your more nudie browns. But overall, when you look at their initial selection of colors, they really are more into the warm shades, more on the browns. Kaya ganun siguro yung pagpili nila is because of the word nga, their name, Kaya Mangge, inspired by us, Filipinos. Kaya ayun, those are the shades that would suit a lot of people. When I was trying to compare it, marami ako nakitang comparisons or maraming shades that are very similar to whatever they're offering. I think naman ganun talaga. I mean, with how saturated the beauty industry is or your beauty scene in general, international man yan or local yan, there's a huge chance talaga na you will find very similar shades already out in the market and that's okay. They're just a new brand so I understand that they would release shades that is already popular or is available in the market kasi yun naman talaga yung mga gusto ng mga tao and they're just building their assortment anyway and they think naman whatever they, what they were trying to do with this um lipstick ko naman yung goal sila everyday wearable shades as they say i think naman that they were able to hit that mark even yung, when yung red nila when i compared it with my other reds kitang kita mo how tame that red is and how unique it was so ayun, that's it i think for the formula the color selection and everything price wise i think naman that the pricing is okay. Tamang tama lang siya, sakto lang siya. Very similar price point to BLK Cosmetics. Very similar price point to Essie and Co. I think naman that this initial lipstick formula is very good. Good quality naman siya. I think that it's a good release for a new local brand. It makes sense. I really can see why they made such decisions. Interested doon sa kanilang advocacy, what they stand for, and how they would formulate or create products that would reflect that of advocacy. I think yun yung pinaka interest ko dito sa brand na to is. I'm super duper excited for Kaya Beauty. Congratulations again. Congratulations to everyone watching out for you guys. Kasi I'm just so interested with your with your brand and what it represents. So ayon, that is it for me. Let me know what you guys think about the brand, what you think about Kayu Beauty, what you like about it, don't like about it. Did you agree or disagree with my my thoughts about this? My favorite shades, ba kayo dyan? Ano, just just let me know. Tell me down below. I'm super duper excited to see what you guys have to say about Kayu Beauty. I hope that this video was very helpful for you guys in helping you decide whether or not you want to get these lippies or whatever. Ayun. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Much love. Bye-bye.